you, Mr. President. I would ask that the quorum call be vitiated, please. Without objection. Thank you. Mr. President, I rise today to continue my tribute to Nebraska's heroes and the current generation of men and women who have given their lives defending our freedom in Iraq and Afghanistan. Each of these Nebraskans has a powerful story of answering the call to serve. Today, I would like to honor the life of Nebraska Army National Guard Sergeant First Class, Tricia Jamison. Tricia grew up in St. Paul, a small town in central Nebraska's farm country. She had a love for animals and wanted to pursue a career as a veterinarian. Tricia usually kept to herself and was not outspoken, but she displayed great determination when something was important to her. In elementary school, upon learning that she and other young girls could not play organized softball, she started a letter-writing letter campaign to change the rules. The community soon took notice and revised the policy to include girls her age. When her friend took his own life because he was picked on at school, Trisha again took up her pen and wrote a letter that was published in a local newspaper where she condemned bullying and honored the life of her friend. She advocated for what is right and how others should be treated. Looking back, it seems obvious that her selfless spirit would one day lead her to serve her country. Tricia attended St. Paul High School, where she was a determined athlete. She participated in volleyball, setting athletic records that still stand to this day. Her family then moved to Omaha, and she spent her senior year at Millard South High School, graduating in 1989. Like many young people, Tricia saw the benefits of joining the National Guard as it could provide extra income and help her with her college tuition. She joined in 1994. It didn't take long before her grit and determination caught the eye of her superiors. They rewarded her with a promotion to become a full-time training instructor at Camp Ashland. As combat intensified in Afghanistan and Iraq, so too did the need to improve battlefield medical knowledge. Sergeant Jameson was assigned to improve the Combat Lifesaver course. The course teaches soldiers basic medical skills for application on the battlefield. With the same dogged determination that was evident all throughout her life, Sergeant Jameson raised the program into a world-class operation. Hundreds of soldiers who learned from Tricia in that program would go on to save lives on battlefields across the world. In 2005, Nebraska's 313th Medical Company needed to replace two soldiers, so it reached back to Nebraska for volunteers. And when her country called for her service, Sergeant Jameson eagerly stepped forward. She quickly got her personal affairs in order and was sent to her deployment training. By June of 2005, she was in Iraq on duty with the 313th Medical Company at Camp Spiker. Her impact was felt immediately as the camp was stretched thin to support combat operations in northern and western Iraq. Staff Sergeant Jameson's first mission on the road was a long one. She was the vehicle commander of the M997 ambulance that was headed to Trebia, near the Jordan border. Staff Sergeant Jameson and her battle buddy, Specialist Rochelle Spores, had just left with a convoy when an urgent call came to help Marines injured in combat a few miles away. Without hesitation, Tricia was speeding towards the battlefield to attend the fallen when their field ambulance was struck by an IED. That day, Tricia gave her life while serving her country. The Nebraska's Prairie Soldier newspaper wrote of Tricia's service. Hundreds of family, friends, veteran group members 
state governmental leaders, and uniformed co-workers flooded into St. Bridget Catholic Church in Omaha to help lay a fallen hero to rest. Her name and reputation live on as soldiers save lives, just as she did on the battlefield. For her service to our nation, Sergeant First Class Tricia Jameson earned many military decorations, including the Purple Heart and Bronze Star posthumously. Today, I ask that we take a, a minute to remember Tricia for her selfless spirit. I want to thank her family, her mother Pat, and her brother Rob, who share their own heroic burden. Sergeant First Class Tricia Jameson loved her family. She embodied, she embodied the pride of her state and the values of her nation. I am honored to tell her story. Thank you, Mr. President.